Hello everyone. My name is Eric Smistad and this poster is about Annotation Web, an open source web-based annotation tool for ultrasound images. An essential part of machine learning and deep learning is large annotated datasets. Thus there is a need for efficient Im image annotation tools. When we started with deep learning in ultrasound about five years ago, there were a few open source annotation tools, but none which worked well with ultrasound images. So we made our own tool called Annotation Web with the goal of being an easy and efficient annotation tool. The first design goal was that it should be web-based, meaning that the annotator, which is often a clinician, does not need to install any software nor transfer any data. The second goal was to have a fast interactive front end, which enables smooth playback, scrolling back and forth between frames and annotation of ultrasound videos. Finally, the system should be highly modular and extendable, making it easier for researchers to customize the system to their project specific needs. Annotation Web was made using Python and the web framework Django. The system stores all data except the image data in a relational SQL database. The fast ultrasound playback in interactive annotation was implemented using HTML Canvas. Canvas enables us to draw ultrasound images and annotations directly in the browser using JavaScript. The ultrasound images are compressed and transferred from the server using HTTP. And we have implemented several annotation tests in the system, such as blind segmentation, image classification, bounding box, landmark, and the more specialized left ventricle segmentation. Here you see the annotation tool. It starts by loading the ultrasound sequence, and once done, the ultrasound video will start playback. The user can easily scroll back and forth and select the frame to annotate. This is the spline segmentation tool, which allows you to set control points, which forms a spline to delineate a structure. Here is the left ventricle segmentation tool in which you can select end diastole and ancestry frames with an M mode display on the top left. The endo and epicardium as well as the left atrium can be annotated using splines and control points. And finally, here is the landmark annotation tool which can be used to annotate specific landmark points. Code and documentation for the software is available on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.